Hey everyone, it's the Rockstar One coming back to you guys with another video update. Um, the two players I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to tell you guys about were Jason Demers and Jared Bowl. Um, Jared Bowl, who originally played for the Columbus Blue Jackets, was re signed by the Anaheim Ducks, which um, that'll be kind of interesting to see him play for a new team. I believe Jared has played for Columbus his entire career, so it'll be kind of. <clears throat> kind of interesting to see him play for a new team. Um, and it's cool that he got to stay in the Western Conference. Um, Jason Demers was re-signed by the Florida Panthers. So he will be moving divisions from the Western to the Eastern, um, which will be kind of a change. It'll be different, you know, seeing him play uh, in the East instead of the West. I mean, Florida is a great team, so it'll be great to see him, you know, play with Aaron Ekblad. Um, that's one of the people I heard he might be, you know, on a defensive pairing with. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and also another big news today out of Dallas as well. Uh, Jamie Benn signed a contract extension for, I believe, $76 million for eight years. So roughly $9.5 million a season. Um, I'm really excited and happy for Jamie. I think he signed it like two, three days ago. So, I mean, it's great, you know, that uh, Dallas has decided to keep him for a long time, and um, I'm just really excited about it. And also, today is Jamie Ben's birthday, so happy early birthday to Jamie for signing the contract. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, so that's pretty much all that's been going on. Uh, I believe Derek Broussard also, let me double check and see what it was for. Yes, Derek Broussard was traded by the Rangers to the Senators for Mika Zibanejad. I don't think that's right, but that's as good as I can do. Um, I'll put it down below in the description, and maybe someone can tell me how to pronounce his last name. I'm not sure about that. But, so that's, I was not expecting the Rangers to make that move, but, you know... Probably with the cap drop that's supposedly going to happen when the Vegas team starts in 2017, um, a lot of teams have been making cap trades, which is basically they're giving a player to another team who needs to fill up their cap space <clears throat> so they can clear up cap space. For example, that's why Chicago traded Andrew Shaw for picks because they didn't have enough cap space to keep Andrew Shaw, so they had to get rid of him. And taking picks is not necessarily someone they will have to sign to a lot of money right away. Or it's not even someone they have to sign. So that was um, why they made that move. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, um, that's all that's pretty much going on. Uh, Preseason, as I said in a previous video, starts around the mid to end of September, and then regular season will start once that ends, end of September to the beginning of October. So I am extremely excited for this next season to start with, you know, Pittsburgh being the returning champions and Nashville with their captain situation. Um, there's been, I have not heard any new word on that yet. Um, still, the names I'm hearing people say are Neil Fisher, Roman Yossi, and some people have said P.K. Subban, but I don't feel like they will give him, you know, that leadership role as immediately as he comes into the team. I know James Neal was given alternate captain, but it's different with, like, captain, captain, you know. So, um, in my opinion, it'll still probably be Neil or Fisher. More than likely Neil than Fisher because Neil still has two to three seasons left on his contract, whereas this is the last remaining year on Fisher's contract. So they would have to re-sign him next year and go, especially with the cap drop going through all that. I don't feel like they'll name him it. I feel like it will be Neil or it will be Roman Yossi. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm assuming they'll name one preseason or before like before preseason or after preseason or maybe they'll do what Pittsburgh did when Mario left and they'll take a break for a while you know like <clears throat> or like Montreal did Montreal did that for a few seasons 
and they just ran with three alternates so I can see them doing that as well and then naming Roman the other third stable alternate so we'll see what happens um but yeah that's pretty much it hope everyone's having a good summer and I'll see you guys next time if there's something I need to talk about bye